All right, good morning, everyone. It is the AIM Icebreaker for Monday, March 26th. Uh, let's see, it is the week before the inaugural on Academy Barbell Certification, and I will be in Austin this weekend. So if any of you folks are going down there, um, let me know. Yeah, like, like you know, throw up a hey, and let's let, let's connect. Let's hang out. Let's, uh, let's do something. I always love meeting people from on it tribe on it legends the uh, obviously from the certified trainers group so yeah let's let's definitely uh make a plan to, to say hey to each other uh today i wanted to start by reading this great quote which uh you know and it's it's internet so who, who knows but the quote goes no one can say where the strange unwritten history of the philippines began they wrote their records in red with bolo plates and wavy edge chrises or carices whichever one you prefer on the shining white beach but the tides came and the topic and the tropic rains and wash the records away. Uh, quotes attributed to a practitioner named Vic Hurley. And uh, it's funny, I read that yesterday and it, it sort of really resonated with me because that's something we say in a lot of a lot of these kind of older practices. Capoeira, for example, is a great, ex is, is, is one where we hear all the time that, you know, at one point the colonial records in Brazil were burned, were all destroyed, so we have no idea what the story actually is and now and, and obviously I'm not I'm not going to draw a parallel between that and what's going on nowadays with you know news real news fake news photoshopped images of who cares I mean I, I I don't really but what I thought was really interesting was uh, there, there's something Gary Vee likes to say he likes to say document don't create and I, I I really like that and you know for and and at first it was just just to me it was something that w was kind of I guess a way of saying of saying be honest, but I think it's more than that now. I think um, this is something I've said that, that kind of dovetails a lot of the stuff I've said a lot, you know, especially the idea that, you know, you know, take your place in the world, people need you to, you know, the world needs you to be, you know, your best, be doing what you're doing. And I think I think documenting that is an, is an integral part of that because, you know, what do people say all the time? Success leaves clues, I think, something like that. So, you know, people want to know your story. People want to know what and how you did it. Something I used to tell um, people that were putting together speeches for, for tech conferences, GDC especially, since that just passed, was, th was um, what I told people is, you know, don't, don't get too lost in the technical details. Um, people, most people who are listening to you already know what you're doing. They're just as smart as you are. They figure out what they want to know is how and why you did what you did. And that's that's an integral part of documenting the process. I mean, another way to look at it is something that uh, Dr. Mark Chang says. Dr. Mark Chang is, you know, one of my another one of my favorite uh, strength conditioning movement coaches who I haven't had the chance to train with yet. Likes to say, um, you know, something. You know, he says, hey, sometimes it's okay to let, let let people see you bleed, and you know, let you know, let people see that you're a human. And I mean, I don't I don't I don't know that that might mean different things to to different people. Like I said, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that's gonna do that on social media, at least not not anymore. <laughs> um, but uh, but 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 I think what it does mean is is you know be honest. Let people know that when you're documenting, you know, sh tell people what went wrong. Tell people what what didn't go the way you wanted it to. I mean, I think that's an integral part of it. And I mean, lastly, I think what it speaks to is, you know, it gives you an opportunity to be honest with yourself about what it is that you are creating, right? Because because <clears throat> you're going to create, but document the process of of you know let that like like Gary says you know that documenting what you're creating is the content, not don't create content and I, I like that idea and especially and that's something that I think we're seeing uh, I mean I mean I've seen it I'm not calling anybody out this isn't this is not directed at anybody but 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 we see it a lot and, and we hear this right we see it a lot in the fitness industry where you know the, the perfectly massaged Instagram video or photo you know that's let, let's be honest that's created that's not documentation versus you know the people who just set, set their camera up and say all right I'm just gonna record I'm just gonna record like this this these next reps you know and you can, I, I guess you can make an argument about which is which, and sometimes it is hard to tell, but I, you know, I, so, so I guess, so I guess what it boils down to is, is like I said, just being honest. Um, so yeah, you know, document your process. Don't, you know, don't create, be honest, show people what you're really doing. You know, I mean, cause you know, share your knowledge, you know, shared knowledge is good. And, um, I apologize for my lovely singing voice. Cause I think I'm getting sick. So I'm going to try to get through today and cheers guys. <laughs>